It's a philosopher's stone, six, 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 yeah. And guess what I'm doing? I'm smoking dope. Not drinking liquor, though. I just got a tattoo today. I'll show y'all. Shit. I gotta pull up my sleeve. Look at the kid. Oh, that's not really a good show of it. But, um... Yeah, whatever. I'll show it again in another video. It's healing right now. It's all wrapped up. It's not really... You can't even see the head of it. But yeah, Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid. Young gun. He's a gladiator. Shoot you twice. Shoot you twice. So you can meet your maker. That's how we keep it gangsta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that's good dope. Rolled it myself, too. I'm getting better at rolling. So anyways, I got seven minutes of time on my phone to make a video. So someone wanted me to do a video. Oh yeah, Pac. <coughs> wanted me to make a video on symbolic immortality. And uh, no, and then. Not symbolic immortality, on beauty and art and shit. I'm sitting on this pissy old mattress in the uh, derelict section of town, as you can see. <laughs> but yeah. So, humans evolved, right? So, primarily the evolution, the DNA molecule evolved. Eventually got to Homo sapiens, and the primary programming is eat, sleep, shit, fuck. Rinse, lava, repeat. So humans got very good at that. And then we needed something else to occupy our time. So we came up with art and music and culture and stuff. But I've always found that answer to be a little bit too simplistic. So what I've come to believe is there's a book written by this guy, Ernest Becker. It's called The Denial of Death. It won a Pulitzer Prize. And then he argues that humans are always striving for something called symbolic immortality. So a human, single human lifespan is short. Life really is short when you think about it. I'm sure we, we live now into our 80s here in the Western developed world, but... Shit. I gotta light up again. God damn it. Mm. There we go. So yeah, symbolic immortality. So everything we do is an effort to deny death. And the two primary things motivating human behavior are sex and death. Now I'd say death, I'd agree with Ernest Becker that death is the primary one, but we can't discount sex either. That's a huge motivator of human behavior. And since we cannot achieve literal immortality in our lives, we strive for symbolic immortality. So paintings and music and all this shit lives on beyond a single human lifespan. It also creates this thing called culture, which again, lasts longer than a single human lifespan. And to better understand it, like I said, read his book and that's The Denial of Death by Ernest Becker. And that's a good foundation for what I've come to believe. I don't really have very many original ideas, it's just that I've nerded it up a lot and read a lot of shit and come to accept different... Are you shitting me? I gotta light it up again. God damn it. God damn it. I gotta make that noise just because I gotta focus on smoking and talking at the same time and I can't do it. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, there, that's basically it. That's my answer. Not a whole lot else uh, to talk about as it pertains to 
Ah, oh, yes, that was the other thing. As it pertains to antinatalism, it's also the subject of boredom. Now, I, this has come up a lot. The existentialists go on about it a lot, but I've never understood boredom. I mean, there are a million different things to do. Like, you could spend a whole lifetime, 60 plus years, practicing a martial art and never truly master it. We got all kinds of books and games and Netflix and entertainment and food to eat and people to fuck and things to do that if you're bored, you're crazy. God damn it, I gotta light up my joint again. Okay, I'm gonna shut up until I finish smoking this fucker. And you people, you morons that are still watching. Can have a good laugh at my expense. Cause I can't smoke a joint and make a video at the same time. <laughs> yeah, anyways. So yeah, not much of a video. That's basically my, my viewpoint. So yeah, beauty, art, culture, it's important to not get too attached to your culture or your identity. It's what it's doing for you is giving you a protection against the deaf anxiety that you feel. So it, it, we need it in order to feel whole, but it creates a lot of problems. That's why we have like in the Middle East, well, it's part of the reason, it's the real reason is oil and control of resources, but these, those people are too attached to their culture. So we have one deaf denying construct meets another deaf denying construct that's built to relieve people's anxiety. Then there's a conflict that's going to emerge. So that's why we see all these conflicts because people are doing it to protect themselves against uh, a deaf anxiety thing. And so that causes problems. It's very important, never get too attached to it. And I guess that was the final thing that I wanted to say. Anyways, yeah, piece of shit video. You don't like it, you don't have to watch my channel, but uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So, bye for now. Philosopher Stoner 666 out.